What is the performance envelope? Well, though we really don't know very much about how the brain processes information, we have yet to be able to determine why you know your name. To give just one flagrant example, we are not clueless about how the brain works. We know about its evolutionary performance envelope, for example. These are the conditions upon which the brain processes information in the best, most efficient way possible. The most accurate way possible, too. The human brain appears to have been designed to solve problems related to surviving in an outdoor setting, in unstable meteorological conditions, and to do so in near constant motion. That's so important, I'm going to say this again, okay? The human brain appears to have been designed to solve problems related to surviving in an outdoor setting, in unstable meteorological conditions, and to do so in near constant motion. Let me drill down on this a little bit. It's important to understand the human brain is the world's most sophisticated survival organ. It's built to keep its owner alive long enough to pass its owner's genes on to the next generation. A decidedly very Darwinian thing to say, that's the survival stuff. This magnificent survival organ was forged in an outdoor crucible, probably and mostly in East Africa. For 99.987% of our time on the planet, we have lived in settings composed of natural elements, starting out in the savanna. We did it under conditions of increasingly climactic instability, where our green, wet rainforest that used to inhabit our northern African womb increasingly gave way to the not-so-green and not-as-wet savanna. Because we were hunter-gatherers in an unstable ecological environment, we were moving around almost all of our waking hours. Some estimates put our movement at nearly 12 miles per day. There's the phrase constant motion. These are the conditions under which our brain thrives. We have not escaped the blast radius of our evolutionary predilections forged over millions of years simply because we have, for the last few thousands of years, been able to live in sedentary cities.